It certainly does. This year's pantomime's going to be the best ever! Oh, Julian, good, you're here. We're just about to test the... <gasps> Sorry! Sound system! Bit loud, I think, Charlie. You haven't seen Lucy, have you? Yes, we saw her on our way over. She was going out for a ride on Pumpkin. I hope she's back soon. The dress rehearsal starts in an hour and she's our star performer. I'm sure she... Oops, sorry. Hello, special delivery service. Pat Clifton speaking. Pat, I've got an unusual one for you today. How soon can you get here? We're on our way. We've got a special delivery, Jess. What's it going to be today? Wow. See you later, everybody. Merry Christmas. Bye, Bye Dad. Dad. your very special delivery. Pleased to meet you, Dobbin. He's got a starring role in the Greendale Christmas pantomime. Oh, it's a pantomime horse costume. That's right. Ted and PC Selby are going to wear it. Oh, <laughs> that should be good. Come on, Jess. They'll need this for the dress rehearsal. Meow. Oh, Pat, the weather forecast says it might snow. You'd better take the snowmobile. Good idea. Come on, Jess. There. Now we're ready for anything. Meow. We'll just load Dobbin. Merry Christmas, Pat. Who's your friend? Oh, <laughs> his name's Dobbin. Special delivery for tonight's panto. Oh, I see. I'm on my way to pick up some props for the dress rehearsal. Just as well Lucy's taken pumpkin off your hands then. Yes, I just hope the weather holds out. Pumpkin hates snow. It certainly looks like we're going to have a white Christmas. I think you're right. Bye, Pat. Bye, Amy. Meow. We should head back now, Pumpkin. It's almost time for the rehearsal. <laughs> Pumpkin? <laughs> Not this way, Pumpkin. It's the wrong direction. Pumpkin! Ready, everyone? Yay! No photos, please. No photos. Evening all. The stars of the show have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, Ted, you're here. Good. Let's get to work. Hang on. If someone could just show us into our dressing room so we can slip into our costume. It's not here yet. What? No costume? It's on its way with Pat. It should be here very soon. So, in the meantime... We can't work without our costume, Lauren. <sighs> Isn't that right, Arthur? No, I mean, yes, it is Ted. Right. Which one of you is going to be the horse's rear end? He is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. I've got the props. Oh, thanks, Amy. Arthur, is Lucy back? Not yet. But you know what she's like when she's out on Pumpkin. Gets carried away. Pumpkin! Stop! Pumpkin! Right, enter Dobbin with a cheery neigh. Dobbin? Neigh. <laughs> that wasn't very cheery, Ted. Can you give it a bit more oomph? Neigh. I'm sorry, Lauren. I'm just not feeling it without the costume. Oh, look! It's snowing! Snowing? My Lucy's out there on Pumpkin. I'd better call her. P Pumpkin! Stop! My phone! Oh, that's Dad's 
Pete's ring! She's not answering. Well, she can't stay out in this. I'm going to look for her. Sorry about this, Lauren. No, of course. You go. I'm coming with you. Thanks, Ted. Good luck. I'm sure she'll be fine. Now what? Oh, hello. <laughs> Not too late for the dress rehearsal, are we? Oh. Hello, Pat Clifton speaking. Hello, Pat. There's no sign of Lucy and Pumpkin. Lucy and Pumpkin aren't back yet. No. Can you keep your eyes open for them? Yes, of course. I'll keep an eye out for them. Bye, Arthur. Meow. What is it, Jess? Ooh. Meow. Where are you taking us, Pumpkin? I've got to call my dad. Pumpkin! <laughs> oh, clever Pumpkin. We can stay here till it stops snowing. Hmm. Hoof prints, Jess. They must be pumpkins. Meow. And the snow's covering them fast. There's only one thing for it. Where are you, Lucy? I'm not sure. It's an old building up in the hills. Well, you just stay put. I'll find you. An old building up in the hills. Could be anywhere. Jess, let's go and find Lucy and Pumpkin. Meow. and the pantomime will be ruined. <gasps> I'll just have to rehearse on my own. Snow and sparkles, fairy lights, Christmas time draws near. Smiling friends and family, it's our favourite time of year. The snow's covered the hoof prints. I don't know which way to go. What's that? That's Lucy's voice. It's coming from the old post office. Come on! What kind of old building is up in the hills? Could be a barn, I suppose. Hang on. That's Pat's van parked up ahead. What's he up to? Everyone is watching, waiting for us all to sing. Happy Christmas, Greendale Village. Happy Christmas, everyone. On this special Christmas night. Happy Christmas, everyone. That sounded lovely. Pat! Hello, Lucy. Are you OK? I'm fine. How did you know we were here? It's a long story. Meow. Let's get you back to Greendale. Everyone will be waiting. But what about Pumpkin? We can't leave him here. And he won't go out in the snow. Let me try. Come on, Pumpkin. <laughs> Come on, boy. Oh. <laughs> I see what you mean. What are we going to do? Don't worry. I'll think of something. 
Hello? Hey, me and Ted are by your van. What's going on? I'm up in the old post office and I've got Lucy with me. With Lucy? <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Don't worry, Arthur. I'll bring her back right away. But, Pat, what about Pumpkin? Oh, yes. Hold on a second, Arthur. Let's see. Pumpkin won't move for us. But what about another horse? Yes, he'd follow another horse anywhere, but... Arthur, change of plan. Get your pantomime horse costume out of my van. I'm coming to get you. It's showtime. Hey, what did he say? He said it's showtime. Hey. Any sign, Julian? Not yet, miss. Oh dear, that's our star performer, our pantomime horse costume, and now Ted and Arthur. Don't worry, Lauren, I'm sure Pat will... Hang on, I can hear something. Listen. What did you hear, Julian? That's Lucy's voice. Look! It is Lucy! And Pat! And Pumpkin! But who's that other horse? <laughs> it's Casey Selby and Ted in the pantomime horse costume. Happy Christmas, Green Dove Village. Happy Christmas, everyone. On this special Christmas night. Happy Christmas, everyone. Oh, hello, Pumpkin. Are you all right, boy? <laughs> <laughs> special delivery for you, Lauren. One star performer. One pantomime horse costume. Nice. And two pantomime horse performers. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Please, no Thank you, Green Dove. Thank you. And thank you, Pat. Now the show really can go on. Special delivery service. Mission accomplished. Shoo! 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 Hello, Julian. You look busy. Mum asked me to keep the birds off her raspberries. I think Jess wants to help. Meow. 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 Oop, excuse me. Special delivery service. Pat Clifton speaking. Pat, I've got an unusual one for you today. How soon can you get here? We're on our way. We've got a special delivery, Jess. What's it going to be today? Meow. See you later, Julian. Keep up the good work. I will. Shoo! Shoo! Hello? Ben? Hmm, that's funny. Where is he? Meow. Hello, Pat. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist it. <laughs> well, hello there. Are you Ben's new assistant? No, my name's Arthur and I'm your special delivery scarecrow. Pleased to meet you, Arthur. Where would you like to go? Well, he's going to Thompson Ground. Ah, the birds must be eating Alf's raspberries too. Yes, Alf hasn't had time to make his own scarecrow, so his brother's lending him this one. Hmm, he reminds me of someone. Oh, yes? 
Move along now, please. There's nothing to see. He sees Selby, of course. All he needs is a policeman's helmet, and we could send him out to direct the traffic. Meow. You're right, Jess. Come on, Arthur. Let's get you in the van. Bye, Ben. Bye, Pat. Oh, Pat! I nearly forgot. There's a delivery for Ted, too. It's in the warehouse. OK, we'll drop it off on our way. You stay here, Jess. Make sure Arthur doesn't run away. Hello, hello, hello. You're an handsome fellow. Sir? Hmm. A policeman scarecrow. Well, an officer of the law just needs one thing. Perfect. Hello? Your police car's ready, Arthur. You can pick it up any time you like. Thanks, Ted. I'll come straight over. Arthur! Yoo-hoo! Bonnie! What have you done to poor PC? Oh, thank goodness. It's just a dummy. I thought... Uh -huh. Mrs. Goggins? What's happened to my special delivery? And why is it wearing a policeman's helmet? Oh, bother. Honestly, Pat, I really thought it was Arthur, especially with the helmet. <laughs> That's what's so strange. He wasn't wearing it before. Really? Well, where on earth could it have come from? Who knows? Oh, well, let's get him in the van. Meow. Hmm. Mm. Meow. You're right, Jess. There's no room in the back. You'll have to go up front with us. Meow. <laughs> there. That should do it. Come on, Jess. See you later, everyone. Bye, Pat. Bye, Pat. Oh, hush, Bonnie. At last. I wonder what's happened to Arthur. Well, oh, what's this? Must be his spare helmet. Move along now, please. There's nothing to see. <laughs> oh, that'll be him now. Ted! You stay here, Jess. I'll go and find him. Meow. Dead! Dead! Meow. Arthur? Meow. Meow. There you are. Got a lift with Pat, did you? Meow. Hello. You're not. Arthur! Arthur! Oh, no. Speak to me, Arthur. This isn't Arthur, it's... Dr. Gilbertson. What's wrong? Sorry I'm late, Ted. Arthur! Arthur! What's going on? It's a long story. Oh dear! 
Show! Show! Oh, my heck. Come away with you. Show! Show! Oh, what's happened to me, Scarecrow? There. You really do look alike. <laughs> Here you go, Arthur. All done and dusted. Thanks, Ted. Don't forget your helmet. That's all right. The Scarecrow can keep it. My best one's in the car. There. A policeman's Scarecrow. That'll keep the birds away. It certainly will, Pat. It certainly will. OK, let's get this Scarecrow over to Alf. Oh, oh. Shoo! Shoo! I said shoo! Oh, Pat! At last! Oh! Arthur? What are you doing here? Pat's on his way with your Scarecrow. And about time too. Yeah, I've got a little plan. Oh, what? Your scarecrow. I know. We'll set it up for him as a surprise. <laughs> Out you come, Arthur. Now then. <laughs> Aha! The raspberry bushes. There. How do you like your new home, Arthur? It's very nice. Thank you, Pet. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Alf! Alf! Ready? Ready. <laughs> Alf! That's funny. I wonder where he is. There's no sign of him, Jess. We might as well get off home. Pet! Oh, Pet! That's funny. I thought I heard... It must have been the wind. Pet! <gasps> oh, Pet! There it is again. It sounds like... Arthur. <laughs> hmm. I'm sure I didn't leave the scarecrow with his arms sticking out like that. Meow. No, I must be imagining things. <sighs> but then again. <gasps> There's something funny about that scarecrow, Jess. Meow. <laughs> that bird thinks so too. It's not a bit scared of him. Shoo, go. Oof. I don't think he's a real scarecrow at all. Let's see. If he's a real scarecrow, he won't laugh when I tickle him. But if he's not... Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. Very good, Pat. Oh, thanks, Alf. 
<laughs> we had you fooled at first, though, didn't we? You certainly did. Meow. How did you guess it was me? <laughs> the bird gave it away. It wouldn't have gone near a real scarecrow. Just as well we've got one then, isn't it? Thanks for getting him here, Pat. No problem. He'll keep the birds off your raspberry bushes. What are you going to call him? How about PC Scarecrow? <laughs> PC Scarecrow it is. Come on, Arthur. Let's get him set up. Special delivery service. Mission accomplished. That's the last of the post bags, Mrs Goggins. And this postcard is for you. Oh, thank you, Pat. Oh, it's from my sister up in the Highlands. Oh, she says she's sending me a present to remind me of Bonnie Scotland. Do you miss Scotland, Mrs Goggins? Ah, sometimes. It's been a long, long time since I was back. Oh, excuse me, Mrs Goggins. Special delivery service. Pat Clifton speaking. <coughs> Hello? Pat, can you get here right away? We've got a... <gasps> oh, very special delivery. I'll be there as soon as I can. Bye, Ben. Bye, Pat. <gasps> oh. We've got a special delivery, Jess. Meow. What's it going to be today? Meow. Bye, Mrs Goggins. Bye, Pat. Hmm. That noise sounded so familiar. Meow. Ben. Ben, what's that? It's a set of bagpipes for Mrs. Goggins. See? Oh, right. I think I'm getting the hang of it now. It's all in the fingering. Really? Well, I better get them to Mrs. Goggins. Okay, Pat. Pardon me. Uh, bye, Ben. Come on, Jess. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Oof. No. Hide and seek's boring. Why don't we play Grandma's Footsteps? That's no good. Bill always cheats. I do not. Do? Hmm. Oh. Oh, where are they? <whistles> Must be somewhere. Hi, Ted. Is everything all right? No. I've lost the keys to me workshop. I put them on the Ted Glenn Sound and Found Keyring, and now they've disappeared. Sound and Found Keyring? Aye. It's me latest invention. All you have to do is make a loud sound, and the keyring beeps, and that tells you where your keys are. Listen. Oh, maybe I'm just not loud enough. Oh dear. I wish I could stay and help, but I'm on a special delivery. It's me keys. Them pipes have done the trick. Thanks, Pat. You're welcome, Ted. Bye. <laughs> it's green. It's little. And there's lots of it. Guess what? Grass. Ooh, yes. Oh. Let's play something else. Like what? I don't know. Oh. Stop it. Go away. 
away. Oh. Oh, I say. That's a bit much. Shoo, shoo. What you doing, you naughty things? Hello, love. What's going on? Oh, Pat. It's been like this all morning. The birds keep trying to steal bits of food and nothing scares them away. I said shoo! And I meant it! Oh! Yes, I see what you mean. Shoo, shoo! Hello, Pat. Ah! Stop it! It's no good. We might as well just pack up early. Shoo! I wish I could help, but I've got to get this special delivery to Mrs Goggins. It's OK, love. You get on. See you later. <laughs> Pat, you've scared the birds away. Have I? However, did you do it? It wasn't me. It was my special delivery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I say, Pat. Your tyre, it's gone down. Oh, no. Come on, Jess. We'll have to go back to the sorting office and get the van. Bye, everyone. Bye, 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 bye Pat. <laughs> it's getting late, Pat. Don't worry, Ben. We'll have these bagpipes with Mrs. Goggins soon. Won't we, Jess? Meow. Daisy! Millie! Flora! Get on with ya! What on earth? What's going on? Hey, up, oh, Pat. It's me cows. They just won't budge. But I've got to get these special delivery bagpipes to Mrs. Goggins. And I'm late already. Well, I'm sorry, Pat. I don't know what to do. Nothing's shifting them. <laughs> These are Highland cattle, aren't they? That's right. And the Highlands are in Scotland, aren't they? So? So, I might know how to move them. Bagpipes? I don't understand. Bagpipes are from Scotland too, just like the cows. They seem to like the sound of them, so I thought maybe if I play them, the cows might follow me. Well, it's worth a try. Working! I'd never have believed that. You're a regular Pied Piper, Pat. Thanks, Alf. Oh, I'd better be going. Bye! Bye, Pat. I don't want to play Duck Duck Goose. We always play that. All right, then. What do you want to play? Yes, go on, Bill. Yeah. Well, uh... uh... Hello, everyone. What are you playing? Nothing. Ooh. We can't find anything we all want to play. Hmm. Have you ever heard of noisy hide-and-seek? Noisy hide-and-seek? How do you play that? Oh, it's easy. I used to play it when I was a wee lass. One person is the seeker, and 
and they wear a blindfold and everyone else has to make a special noise. Like this? <laughs> yes, just like that. The seeker has to find them by following the noise. Brilliant! And everyone has to make a different noise. How about this? Perfect! Will you show us how to play it, Mrs Goggins? Oh, yes! yes. Well, <laughs> it's been so long. <sighs> I'd love to. <laughs> Hello, Ajay. What's up? Hello, Pat. I can't open the door on the mail van. And I'm meant to be picking up the coal for Pancaster. See? Oh, let me help you. Oh, but it's a... Uh... It's no good, Ajay. Ooh, it's stuck. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a special new door. It's only supposed to open when the fly whistle blows. See? I don't think it's loud enough. Hmm. Not loud enough. Hang on a minute, Ajay. Bagpipes? How's that going to help? Watch this. <laughs> You did it! Thank you! No problem. Come on, Jess. Let's get this special delivery back on track. <sighs> Beep. Beep. Oh. Oh, where are you? Nee da dee da dee da. <whistles> oh, I can hear you. <whistles> Goodness me, Sarah. <whistles> Hello. What's that? That's a very familiar sound. Oh. Mrs. Goggins, here's your special delivery. Bad pipes. Oh, they must be from my sister. Oh, what a day. Noisy hide and seek and bagpipes. Can you play them, Mrs. Goggins? Well, I've not played for years, but they do say you never forget how to play the pipes. Special delivery service. Mission accomplished. Special delivery service. Pat is on his way. Special delivery service. What's it going to be today? Punch from Pat, SDS, we all know.